Andrew, Alvin Gentry is doing everything he can right now to say we're only two games in. Let's not get too excited, <laughs> right? That, that is correct. But look, two games in, I know it's early, but there's a lot to be excited about. I mean, when you look at the way that this Pelicans offense is scoring with the new pieces that they have, it's unbelievable. I mean, the first game they opened the season, they dismantled the Rockets. That's a team that's arguably a healthy Chris Paul away from making it to the NBA Finals. They then follow that up with a win over the Kings. And you're talking about adding an Alfred Payton as your point guard. No problem. Add in Julius Randle. They don't skip a beat offensively. This Pelicans team is scoring 140 points per game. The next closest team is 14 points away, the Sacramento Kings. The Pels are by far leading the NBA in scoring. And of course, Alvin Gentry is trying to temper those expectations. But he is excited about the start of the season, no doubt. You know, we have, you know, very, very athletic bigs. We got a good rotation. Uh, of three of them and uh, you know when you when you do that and you're able to spread the floor and you got skilled big guys uh, you know we try to take advantage of what uh, what we can do best you know obviously in, we're not going to average 140 points for the year I, I pretty much I, I, I'd pretty much tell you that okay now when I asked him that question look he said the first thing we're two games in, Andrew, so I, look, I understand it. But the most impressive thing to me is they're still scoring with that length, that size, and they're still able to push the pace up and down the floor. The one thing we haven't seen is Nico, AD, and Julius Randle on the floor all together. That's something that we may see later on this season. Here live at the Smoothie King Center, Andrew Doak, Eyewitness Sports. Doug.